I totally forgot about my popcorn. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. <laughs> but I'm not about to start this video without popcorn. Alright, let's do it. Nukes Top 5, drop a like. As always, please, please, please like, subscribe, comment, share, watch a million times over, leave Nukes Top 5 play another while you go to sleep. Please, open like 50 tabs and watch Nukes Top 5. Please support them because these videos are freaking awesome and the duo would probably put so much time and effort editing these all together. Thank you, Nuke. Play! The voice uh, from the bushes. You said what? Oh, you haven't been there before? Uh, I've been there like three or four years ago. Uh, we do stop at 10, but we're pretty much going to go, uh, uh, like I said, because uh, uh, we can go a little bit longer. It's fine. I always said it's, it's supposed to be like 2 to 3. Uh, yeah, I'll push it a little past. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about the clock, my dude. Let's just freaking enjoy the time that we're here. Doneen Bull Davis, who lives on the Louis Bull Tribe Reserve in Alberta, Canada, is relaxing at home one evening with her family. Suddenly, they begin to hear strange sounds coming from the dense thicket of bushes in their backyard. But... They don't see anything there. What happens next is truly creepy. Like a creature. No. Okay, not a creature. Definitely not a creature. <gasps> I see you. Oh no. Okay, so not a creature. First of all. <laughs> it got offended. It was like, hold on. First of all, I am not a creature. Second of all, I see you over there. Nina and her family all hear the same spine chilling. Oh, hold on. This is definitely a little too loud, isn't it? How about now? Sound of a raspy. Okay, that's better. Nina and her family all hear the same spine-chilling sound of a raspy little voice coming from somewhere in their backyard. The voice just doesn't sound normal. It just and sort of gargles at them. Things really start to get weird. Oh, it's oh, still gonna come. Out. Come, come, out. come on! Come on! It said no. Come on! Laughs mockingly. It's a freaking teenager with a voice changer. All right, I, I'm, I'm no longer scared of this one. <laughs> what kind of a demon would laugh at you like that? Like a freaking... What time do I stop? Don't worry about it, dude. Yeah, I, uh, technically I, I stop at 10, but don't, don't, don't worry about it. If I go past 10, I go past 10. It is what it is. DJ! Come on up! Shut up! Come on! Hey, this is off! He just keeps saying no. What's wrong with you? Huh? Now it's just... Now it's just mimicking what? it. It's totally a teenager. The creepy voice seems to mock the family, mimicking what they say and eerily laughing at them while hiding in the bushes. But yeah, that's a believe teenager. it or not, the situation takes an even more terrifying turn. Oh wait, it's still gonna keep going? Come on out! It's Why still not? this is the most this is the most kindergarten level freaking argument I have ever freaking seen. I see you. Well come out here so I can see you. No. <laughs> Why not, you coward? <laughs> like, this is something I would do. You get me? <laughs> this is that intimidating. Yeah, what a play. Yeah? Come on here, broseph. I got, I got, I got a hockey stick here for you. <laughs> I freaking trouble my stuff. Come on. Yeah, I already answered your questions. Come are you just going to keep asking the same me. question over and over again, or are you actually going to freaking do something? Just go grab that gun. Go on, Bobby, my dude. What's up? Oh. Uh... 
that's going to be over there. No. What a play together? This dude, you hear him? He's like, it's a skinwalker, the skinwalker. I just feel like skinwalkers would, would, would be so old at, in their age that I feel like they would not be messing with people. Whatever is hiding in the bushes now asks, wanna play? And with that, the family has now yeah, that's supposed to be like a teenager who ran out of, like, interesting things to say <laughs> during his prank. Just had enough. They call the local police to their house, and Dunin shows them the footage that she has recorded. The officers scout through the bushes, looking for the threatening stranger. One of the officers also hears the raspy little voice mocking him. But even though no he way. says the voice sounds right next to him... He says he didn't see anyone in the bushes. Donin says that to this day, this disturbing event remains unexplained. Many video commenters believe that this could be some kind of creature roaming the Louis Bull tribe reserve. But what do you think this creepy voice could be? Hiding among the graves. It's a gnome. It's a tiny little gnome. That's why he does like want to play and stuff. He knows if a human actually found him, wouldn't be much it could actually do. It's just a gnome. Mm -hmm. Like a garden gnome, you know what I mean? Nukes top five viewer Savannah Escoto says that she had a very that's a, that's a, that's strange that's a, that's a experience when she took her four-year-old daughter, Isabella, to visit her brother's grave at the San Fernando Cemetery in San Antonio, Texas. Oh, cool. Cemetery is a cool place to hang out. What is it? Come here. Why don't you want to go sit down over there? Because I'm scared. You're scared of what? What the girl shadow? What girl shadow? What's that? Behind the tree. Behind the tree? Yeah. Little Isabella says that she sees quote a girl shadow behind a tree in the cemetery and comes That's hurrying creepy. back to her mom. When Savannah turns her camera toward the tree, she catches what appears to be a face from behind the tree. No way! The face seems to be translucent as cars passing on the road behind can be seen right through it. That's so creepy. is this the girl shadow that little Isabella was afraid of? Her mom Savannah isn't sure what to think of this creepy experience. And Maybe. she has no idea who or what this is. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Prized. Dude, I don't think anybody else could find freaking, like, this kind of freaking, like, stuff. Like, what was that? Where did you find that one? Possession. This next creepy video was shared on the popular Spanish language podcast, Podcast Paranormal, by guest and paranormal investigator Antonio Zamudio. On the podcast, Antonio tells the story of Augusto, an 11-year-old boy who started behaving very oddly after buying a strange-looking doll at a garage sale. The little boy that became one? obsessed with the toy, staying up all night and talking to the little doll. After hearing unexplained voices in their house, Augusto's mother had had enough. She yeah, bro, I, I, I think you burned the doll and the child. I think they both gotta go. Threw the doll away. But... The doll mysteriously reappeared three days later at their home, lying at the foot of Augusto's bed. Paranormal of investigator course. Antonio sets out to help the family and installs several static cameras throughout the home. The doll is placed in the hallway just outside the little boy's bedroom as he goes to sleep. The static camera recording the hallway catches something downright chilling. No way! Soon after the boy falls asleep, the doll begins to move and then seems to actually run to the 11 year old's bedroom. Antonio and the family are shocked when they watch the footage. He slipped up! 
Yo, the toys slipped up. We all know they're alive now. <laughs> the investigator decides to take the doll from the family and is kept it locked away at his home. Okay, but look at the doll. It's got like bandages in its groin area. Ever since. So could the doll be possessed or by Or is that a like the stuffing? Or just what do you think happened here? Let me know. That is a trip, my dude. Now I'm curious to know if, like, if he does he keep it locked up or, like, if he leaves it out in the open and, like, uh, 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 you know, will it, like, try to escape? You know what I mean? Unstable. This next strange video was recorded by a CCTV camera in a horse stable. But the look. Oh, that one's so cool. That is not enough footage of that one. Location of the stable and the original source of the footage are I want unknown. more of that one. The video shows a horse in its stall, relaxed and peaceful. But around 2.39 a.m., there's an odd dark flash across the CCTV camera. And then all hell breaks loose. No, ghost, don't mess with the equine. Leave him alone. They're chilling, dude. I hate when people mess with horses. Horses seem like they're always just sort of minding their own business and chilling. Like cows. That's why I like I love cows so much. I love cows. So funny. Cows are, 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 are objectively the funniest animals in the animal kingdom. Yeah, something just started banging it, uh, on the wall or something. Just spooked the horse. Mash the door open. Yeah, it just spooked everyone. I wonder, was that loud enough to, like, wake up everyone? Or, or, or I'm assuming this is at a family farm or something. Uh, was that loud enough to wake everyone up, or...? Something unknown disturbs the horse so much that it panics and actually breaks right through its stall. But that's not all, because as the horse roams loose in the stable, what happens next is truly bizarre. Oh, so there's footage from later on in the night. Okay, okay. Dude, this ghost is freaking diabolical. Yo, we gotta exercise this ghost pronto. Leave those horses alone. Oh, I hate that the, the horse sounds like it's in so, like, not doing well. I don't know if that's, like, pain or, or what, but I don't like it. The poor thing. <coughs> Tries to jump into the stable. To get away from whatever's in the hall, like, I guess, the, well, would that even be a hallway? Call the ghost for, yeah, for real. I feel so bad for the horsey, no! Bro, is that a shadowy figure that just keeps growing? Getting closer and closer? 
The horse lingers at a different stall, disturbing one of the other horses as it kicks and makes panic noises. The horse then seems to angrily attempt to leap over into the other stall with that horse. The stable I, I owner says that, that this incident is one of the end. weirdest things he's ever experienced with one of his horses. Now, this video was shared to TikTok, and comments mentioned that the culprit might be uh, Jen, as apparently it is said that Jens will often torment horses. And Jens will often torment horses? Why? And there that seems so specific. Was also that odd dark flicker in the camera footage. So, paranormal or not? Really, without a source, we'll. I don't know if it's paranormal or not, but something definitely sounded like it was bumping before the horse panicked. I would just wonder what 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 was bumping around in there. Uh, it's William Afton sprite trap. Never know what happened here. Coming back from the DLC, the ruined DLC to, to wreak some havoc. And maybe this horse just <laughs> randomly lost its damn mind. I mean, it could be. The passenger. Taxi driver Jarek from Baguio, Philippines is working the, the night passenger. shift when he spots a woman on the side of the road who needs a lift. What happens next? Ah, uh, but the problem is I'm an Uber, not a lift. Ah, crud. Uh, darn it. <laughs> is something he'll never forget. It's a woman, but I didn't look at her face. I noticed her white and purple dress. I wonder, does he, like, uh, make content or anything on, on YouTube? I'm just saying, like, I, I'm not trying to, like, disprove it or nothing. But I feel like you could have somebody open the door and just close the door, like, but staying low, you know, for the whole thing. And then you're just driving off and doing your regular thing. Uh... But I'm wondering, like, if they live stream their their taxi drives and stuff. I'm wondering if, uh, you know, potentially th this was like just a normal everyday stream. It's like, well, that that would be, you know, that would that would really give good evidence towards it. If this was like all all live from like just his normal live streams or something. Does anybody do that? Does anybody tax? I know a lot of people drive and freaking stream with from that one freaking chick who crashed. Just realize she's gone. Hola. Hola. Yes, come on. <laughs> That's gonna be a trip, dude. If you're just like driving someone and then suddenly they just don't exist anymore. Hola. He immediately went to, I think I just gave a ride to a ghost though. I sh That is creepy though. If this is legit, the door opening and everything is so creepy. <laughs> he just keeps looking back like, Lady, you better be in the trunk, because I am not about. No, there's, there might still be someone there. I, you might be taking her home with you. Yeah, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't. Uh... Like, what do you do there? Do you leave the car? Do you burn the car? Do you do you, do you, do you, do you, do you have to like go to a church and have it blessed before you get to go drive back home? Like I don't know what to do there. Like what do you, how do I what do I do? Scout <laughs> barrio. <laughs> Oh, he has dash cam from the front footage. Oh, even on that camera, you can't see it. Oh, that's even trippier, because that means we can see that there was clearly no one there. We can see the taxi door open and close 
and Jarek swears a woman wearing a long white and purple dress stepped into his taxi, requesting to be taken to Scout Barrio, a neighborhood in the city. After a short drive, he looks into his rearview mirror to discover That's that there is no woman in his car. She has disappeared. He's baffled and looks around the back seat in startled disbelief. Jarek says he was tired and never got a good look at the woman's face, but he's certain a woman got in his car. So could it be that Jarek gave a taxi ride to a spirit? Possibly. I'm gonna be honest with you, my dude. Maybe you should have just gone all the way. You should have finished the trip. Because now the ghost might be mad. <laughs> she might be staying in the car until you finish that trip, my dude. Uh, they're gonna jump scares like cheek and cheek. Or just what do you think was happening here? No jump scare. Ding. Just a, a nice in ghost who needed a ride. Nuke Stop 5 year Raul Garcia Ogando reached out to me about something that his son caught on camera while exploring an old mine in El Paso, Texas. I don't like this already. This is already no. Just so much no. Espe especially after we watched the freaking uh, internet historian video on the dude who got stuck in the cave. Man, I'm good. No, thank you. I'm all right. Did you see it? As Ryle's son pans the camera, someone or something can be seen hiding in the darkness of the cave. Nah, so that looks straight up like a Grim Reaper. Dave. Raul explains in his email that he didn't see anything at the time. I thought that was someone in his party, like someone in, in his group. I'm, and didn't notice the figure until they looked back at their video. That's some straight Grim Reaper stuff right there, my dude. Like he's even got a Jamaican accent. Videos later. So what is this? Let me know. Mystery in the Mirror in Morocco. Nuke's top five viewer Carlo reached out to me about a strange video recorded by his sister Grace during a trip to Morocco. Grace and her husband are at the Riyadh La Russa Hotel in Fez, Morocco. Grace decides to take a video of the beautiful seven. That sounds familiar. I don't actually know if that's fancy or not. You're. <gasps> I love it. You're scared. See, I gotta freaking get my own emotes. I swear. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Look at my own emails. Let me see. And heat century palace style. In now I just have to. Now I have to go through the whole rigmarole of like, I, I I can either decide to go to the same someone I've already used before, someone new, and and no matter what I do, it's a lose lose situation because I'm gonna feel guilty for not hiring someone else. <laughs> Interior. What? No, oh, thank you. I don't. I don't appreciate your compliments. Shut up. <laughs> thank you so much, my dude. What happens next is truly bizarre. This is the door going inside. Uh huh. And then this is going outside. We're now heading to the. Oh, there it is. Inside. Oh, sorry. What? A man appears out of nowhere, startling Grace so much that she apologizes for almost walking into him. Oh, there it is. Oh, sorry. Now here's where it gets weird. I when mean, taking a closer look at the footage. I mean, I guess. Grace and her husband can clearly be seen in the reflection of a mirror hanging on the wall in front of them, but... I mean, he too easily could have, like, I'm not saying no, but he could have walked in here. There's no man. Then in a split second, the man appears right in front, they did the front of her, standing quietly. Grace then turns... He turns that way, but... Of course, I I feel like the door would be blocking the reflection. Towards the exit. 
Like you know, you know what I'm saying? Who knows? Actually, I feel like maybe would have we would have seen him pass over. You know. And we see her reflection again in a different wall mirror. But again, the standing man is... This seems too set up, you know? This seems too set up! Not there. She turns around and the man <laughs> is gone. Now, finally, perhaps this is just normal camera blur. But when taking a close look at the man's face in the video, something just doesn't look quite right. Very but blurred. you decide on this. So did Grace capture a paranormal event on camera? Could this be a so-called glitch in the Matrix? A glitch Either in the way, Matrix? Let me. It's actually one of the uh, one of the facelings from, from from the back rooms. Got it. You know what you think? Oh, there it is. Got out. Got to get back in real quick. Oh, sorry. Your car's extended gen warranty. Popular. Extended gen warranty. Your Jordanian hey. paranormal investigator Hassan Barbar is exploring an abandoned location somewhere in the middle of nowhere when suddenly he hears the sound of his car alarm going off in the distance. This is the guy, this is the guy that prays. I love him. He like shouts at the jinn prayers. It's the best. And he like kicks down doors. This was a freaking action hero. Look, he's even got like the freaking Alan Wake focusing. Like, was it Alan Wake that did that? With the light focusing? Bro said, I'm gonna hit the ghost with the high beams. What's the art of it, Zimmer? Now, obviously, Hassan wants to know what triggered the car alarm, and he heads back to check it out. Yeah. What happens ne next was all captured live on Snapchat. This is actually extra scary, and not even because of the ghost. This is extra scary because it could have been a freaking animal that did it. <laughs> like, just looking at where he's at, if some freaking animal just freaking, like, bumped my car enough to, like, cause it to the alarm to go off, it's like, okay, <laughs> what is this animal that just bumped my car? You know, so it's like, ugh. Forget, forget paranormal, just real things are scary in that scenario. Oh, Okay. What is that? Is that his friend? Something jumps out at Hassan, absolutely scaring this out of him. He eventually regains his composure, but when he looks around the car, he finds nothing. And no what was this? I'm sure it had one. Is that just his boy? What was that? Unfortunately for Hassan, this isn't the end. Are you serious? Oh, the cricket ghost is. The chain is stealing his car! Yeah, what was. Well, if there's a random hobo out there, maybe, maybe don't just pray at him while he steals your car. Get, get, take your car back. Can I ask, why did he go to the passenger seat instead of the driver's seat? You know, where where the thing you would want to stop driving the vehicle would be? That's just his homie. What are you talking about? That's absolutely just his boy. These are the hand marks of a human or a dog. I'm not sure. Is 
السيارة شغالة يا اخوان لا لا الله الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hassan's car seems to just drive away on its own eventually coming to a stop a little way down the road Hassan is shocked by the bizarre experience as he once again finds no one in or around his car the investigator has had enough yeah I'm not believing this one too much way too many coincidences he and I just he's just he's doing things that 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 it's like I just feel like I wouldn't do in that scenario this is like Like just common sense things. If somebody or something is stealing your vehicle, why would you go to the passenger side with your camera? I would go straight to the driver's side and rip that dude out of my freaking car. Get out of my car, ghost! It's mine! I haven't paid it off yet! And drives home, presumably wanting to be sure that his car doesn't just drive home without him. So did Hassan capture creepy gen activity live on camera? Or is it all... Let me frame my friend this. What is that? Like, that's all we get, unfortunately. This. That's all we get. Nope. Yeah, we're not getting anything good out of that. Hoax. You decide. Yeah, it, it seems. The old sacred. Whoops. A lot of his stuff is really, really good. That one I felt like was well staged. The old sacred heart. Restaurant employee Nikki works at Ozone Pizza, located in the old abandoned and restored Sacred Heart Hospital in Pensacola, Florida. The hospital was built. Oh, Sacred Heart is a hospital. Okay, yeah, instantly haunted. Yeah, okay, got it. Instant, go, guaranteed haunted. Yes. Way back in 1915, and Definitely except haunted. for the pizza restaurant, the large structure is mostly empty. It's said that the old hospital is haunted by former patients and the ghosts of nuns who work there. It's 11.30 at night, and Nikki decides to go on a walk around the hospital with his co-workers after their shift. That's when the group spots something very creepy oh my god you see it you see it it had arms yeah there's probably again i feel like 90% of these are like yeah the hobos exist and it's becoming a problem in the states <laughs> no those are arms oh my god oh my god it's a real person no those are arms now no those are arms <laughs> We worked in a restaurant at the bottom. We saw a ghost uh, nun last night. Oh, they work at the pizzeria. Got it. No, those are arms. No, no. I don't care. Those are arms. She has a gun on. I see it. That's fing arms. The building is completely can empty. Yet someone can be. I feel like I'm not looking at the right thing here. He's seen standing behind a window. The group freaks. Okay, I was looking at the right thing. What? Are, I, they're seeing something I can't see, obviously. ...out and have no idea who or what it could be. Nikki and his friends believe that the creepy apparition might belong to one of the nuns who used to work in the hospital. And a close-up of their capture does indeed look a bit like a thin woman who could be dressed in a nun's habit. But again, I ask... Be. What do you think this is? You decide. I think that one's pretty cool, though. The dark thing. You got nuns, pro nuns protecting you from above at your work? It's freaking solid, bro. That pizzeria probably makes good money. It's got the blessing of the nuns. In, in the basement. The dark thing in the basement. TikTok user Will Graves is home alone when he starts to hear the disturbing sound of so- It's me. I'm the dark thing in the basement. The generate weep hasn't let me out yet. Someone walking around in his basement. Now, Will believes his house to be haunted, so he starts recording and cautiously heads downstairs to check it out. Okay, TikTok. So, my power. You are brave, sir. Power is out. 
You are walking down an old set of stairs barefoot. You are very brave. <laughs> no loose nails are going to, going to discourage you from, from living life to the fullest. At the moment, in the basement, and I swear, I keep hearing someone walk. I don't know exactly. Oh, it's this one. Exactly what it is. See, this is why it's always a good idea, no matter what, to watch multiple sources of, 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 of scaries. Because then you can see if some of them have a little bit more, a little bit less, maybe a different angle. You never know. But it's kind of creepy. But so please, support all of them. Laundry room still has power, so that's good. Now, I don't know what the limit is on subscriptions is, but I'll reach it. But the, uh, the rest of the basement's power is completely out. Which is very... Darn it, I don't know why, but I really want him to go in that room! What's in there? What's hiding? Why does the why does the door look like it's part of the wall? Are you trying to hide something? Are there secrets back there? What secret? What tantalizing secret? These secret saucy secrets are you hiding? I want to know! Strange. I'm not... Bro, that beanbag chair, I just noticed it. It's so cool. Sure what that noise was, but I don't know. I'm home alone right now, gone. so oh, we'll see, I guess. Look out back. I like his backyard, though. I hope you're growing something nice back there. Yeah, it looks like he's he's got nice, like, foliage. I, don't, I just don't know if those are, like, watermelon or pumpkin leaves, or could also be squash leaves. I have some squash leaves that look 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 pretty large like that too. Well, like pump. That, they're not really pumpkin. They're like I don't even know what they really are. I'll be honest with you. There's some there's some kind of squash or, or something. No, nothing back there. I don't know. There's been a lot of strange things happening. Figures, shadows. So I don't know. Maybe some tips, advice would help out. Can't really see anything, but uh, there's no one in here. Did you see it? As well. See, that's cool. It even had a little bit of extra at the end where he was going into the, uh, you know, the bathroom, just sort of stepping in there. Walks downstairs into his basement. Someone can be seen Not standing that it was a huge change to the freaking end of Weirdly the video or anything, just but you know, facing the wall. When Will looks back into the bathroom about 30 seconds later, the figure has completely disappeared. Will says that he's done several paranormal investigations at his local cemetery, and he believes something might have followed him home. But is it real? Yeah, you might have picked up a deity or two on the way back. Did I say deity? Entity is what I meant to say. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Whoops, sorry, sorry Gaia. Didn't mean, to, didn't mean to drag you home with me. Let me take you back. <laughs> you decide. Thanks so much for watching. As always, my schedule is weird, so please hit subscribe and also hit the little bell notification icon so you never miss a video. Follow me on the socials if you've got some random comments because most of the time I answer. Or if you say hey. something horrible, I block you. But one of the tips... Good. I'm not gonna lie to you. Especially anyone here that's uh, uh, pretty new to, to the YouTubes as well and stuff and or Twitch. Freaking use that ban button, use that block button, my dudes, a hundred percent. Somebody starts to sass you or give a mess off on you, they get too personal, they, you, you just don't, you know, you're just on a, having an off day, you just don't want to deal with it that day, instant ban. Who cares? You do not need them. <laughs> Trust me, you don't need that stress in your life. No. I'm patient. I got a lot of patience, I'll be honest, as a person. Uh... But when I get, well, but when I get sassy, I get sassy. <laughs> All right, my dudes, what an amazing video! Please, everyone, like, comment, subscribe to Nukes Top Five. This dude is freaking amazing. He's been making such great content for such a long time. I can only imagine the reason why his schedule's been so like off or weird is probably because he's preparing. This is his time, his moment to shine. I can only imagine. They're probably so excited for October. I can only imagine, like, they, they're probably saving the really, really, really good stuff for, like, October. You know what I mean? Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be so freaking cool. 
Ayo, be sure to join the crew. Please like, follow, and subscribe. And hey, if you like that video, you should check out this stuff.